everyone. Welcome back to Garden Fork. Um, this is our first year of beekeeping and it is about August 15th or so, kind of late summer. And we're doing a check-in on one of our hives here. This is the hive down at Maple Knoll Farm, which was where we do the maple syrup with our friend Bill. And this hive is going really well. There's tons of bees coming in here. This is my homemade landing board out of a piece of cedar here. Uh, but these guys are going great. By yeah. the way, never, the girls, yes, never stand in front of the hive, always stand to the side of the hive. Um, but you can see here they're landing with pollen on their back legs, and they also have nectar. That's very cool. But today what we want to do is we want to check to see um, how these supers are being filled up. This top one is pretty much, I think, full of honey. So we want to, we're going to pop the top here and see what's going on. All right, by the way, um, I've learned from experience, you shouldn't wear pants that have holes in them, so tape up your pants and tuck your socks in and don't wear black, because they think black, is a bear. they associate black with the bears, so I'm a bear. Arr. I have yet to master the smoker. Ah, um, Don't hold it by the bottom. Yeah. I've yet to master the smoker, but I'm getting better at it. The outer cover, a little smoke in there. Get some casualties, sir. Yeah. Close that up and just wait a couple seconds. I mean, there's a million ways to do this. I'm clearly an amateur. I'm not the expert. Okay. So this is your uh, hive tool, and you pop this off because this is all stuck together with propolis. This is this sticky material they get from tree resins. Look at all those guys. Girls. Guys. Girls. Sorry. Open it up, the sunlight doesn't freak them out. So they don't seem to mind them. Right? Yeah. So we're going to smoke these guys a little bit just to. You can see when you put the smoke on them how they go down in. I don't like it. And then we're going to pop open some of these frames and take a look. In your super, they say in the books if seven of the ten frames are drawn out, it's time to add another super. Drawn out means that the bees have. Uh, taken the frame and drawn out the honeycomb. That is drawn out comb. Because it's from end to end, correct? Oh, it's fucking right. honey. And this is all honey. This is capped honey here. This is uncapped honey down here. Uh, where they're letting the honey dry out and you can see these guys are taking drinks of the honey because we smoke them and when they're they think the smoke means a forest fire so they gorge on the honey because they have to fly away they think soon so you actually every time you open the hive you're gonna lose a little bit of honey because they're they're eating it right now so when it dries a little bit it will they'll cap the rest of it right when they fill it out they'll fill out that honey and then they'll cap it Yeah, that's more capped. They're different color. Different, the cap is different color. Why is that? This is much more yellow, for example, than I think in the corner. This, um, and this in the, the yellow has some openings left. Oh, that's brood up there. That's brood. That's not honey. Oh, but there's honey at the top, right? There's honey at the top, yeah. See, see, I've made a, um, I think I've made a mistake here. This is the one, two, three, this is the fourth super, and I think I should have put a, um, a hive, uh, queen a queen excluder in here. So we're going to slip a queen excluder in here. She's getting up here and she's still producing. Yeah, she's up here and she's laying. Well, you missed it, but I got stung. We had the camera off. Um, in the but, foot. But they stung me through my socks. So maybe I should get some bee pants and bee socks. We have, uh, there is brood in this top super, which I really don't want, but I think at this point, these guys are getting a little aggressive. So what we're going to do is all of these uh, frames are filled, except this last one is just being drawn out. You can see here, they're just starting to draw this guy out. 
It's so black. Yeah, well that's the that's the plastic frame, the plastic honeycomb in the wood frame. Okay, just got stung again. So we're, I'm gonna slide this queen excluder on here. I'm gonna take a, a new super and put this on and they will only make honey in this super. Okay, we're gonna brush these bees off of here. Slide this on. The brush is really important. The you brush is handy. You squish them every time. And you don't mean to, but the brush really helps that. So we put the top on, and then we push the outer cover forward. Very important. So that the front vent is venting. See that little notch there? Yep. This notch is the vent and also a top entrance. So put this on and push it forward. See how it moves back and forth? You put it forward so that notch is open. And there you go. We've added a honey super here with a queen excluder. Um, ideally, I would have put it in here when I put this in two weeks ago, but you know, we're, we're just learning about this. We wanted the bottom three to be our brood chamber. These are all medium supers, by the way. A lot of people use deeps for their brood chambers. But this is going really well. Both of my ankles really hurt right now. Um, but that's the price you pay, and I think you build up an immunity to the bee stings after a while. Or you get allergic, one or the other. Yeah. All it's right, so there you go. It's good for your arthritis, dude. That's right, I do have arthritis. In your toes, so in so, your clothes. We'll okay. see. Um, put the rock on. Yeah, I'm going to put the rock on. The reason we're using all mediums here is that a full deep, which is a full size super, when they're full of honey and brood, are really heavy. They're like 60 pounds or so. And I have a back injury. So even one of these, like I lifted out these two the last time, they're at least, they weigh like 40 pounds. They're really heavy. They're, and then you're like, whoa. So, okay. all right, there you go. There's our bee update. You got to watch Eric get stung. So that was fun. It was fun. Uh, sorry about the swear words. These guys are going great. We'll check in a little bit. I'll have some better uh, bee equipment on so I don't get stung as much. Let me know what you think. What am I doing wrong here? I'm sure someone's gonna tell me what I'm doing wrong, so. I'll tell you. Yeah. See you later. Bye.